if we are in denial, we just sit back and don't, we don't do anything. The fact that we want to reorganize, we have to weed out some of those leaders who are not working as a team. We strengthen the division. We strengthen the Supreme Council. We strengthen the, those in government, those who are not working in tangent with, with the leadership. Let them step aside and move forward. What's the meaning? Meaning we recognize that we have work to do. We have to face tougher challenge. We must work with a team that is working together. So that alone is a signal that, that we will move forward. We will continue to, to, to fight. We, we know what's happening around us. You know, some is not coming from overseas. It's all originate from here. We know this modus operandi because we are part of them before. We know. Sometimes they use, uh, if they fail, they cannot, uh, if they cannot have their way uh, in the country. They will use certain contacts outside and try to do something. But let, let the process go on because we are borderless. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. Uh, well, if you say that the country is, uh, you know, the, the, the image is studies, to me, it's all subjective. There are countries in this, um, in this world that, you know, some people may not like what, what they are doing, but business as usual for them. Uh, but we have, but we must continue to make assessment. It is important, public image is important. Uh, our image in the international arena is very important, you know. But not just because of one or two issues, therefore you draw a conclusion saying that the Malaysian image is, is, is bad. You see, the, you, there are things that you can always see, for example, uh, whether people come and invest in the country, where, whether or not people like to come and spend their holiday, spend their money in the country whether or not the diplomatic relationship between us and other countries, whether in, in a good book or not. And there are so many things that government will always make assessment. Uh, I think it's mere exaggeration. Some people say that now uh, Malaysian image is, is very bad in the international arena and things like that. You know, I've seen, I followed uh, Prime Minister to go to some, some countries. And I, I feel very happy to see that how uh, leaders from, from other countries uh, receive and uh, you know uh, our uh, our leaders, our prime ministers, and not only that, our ministers and those representing the government. I think we still enjoy high respect amongst uh, in the international community. I think that's uh, people cannot deny. You know, when you go outside, uh, certain local issues is is. It's not something that people outside the country really bother, you know, but sometimes we try to make it, you know, like something that, that is very, very big. But if you look from from international perspective, this is just one of the issue, one of the domestic issue that, you know, people believe we should be able to handle on our own. This is not something like... Uh, uh, that, 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 that becomes something of uh, concern of international community and affecting international community in any way. I mean, relatively. People may spin if, if, they, they, you know, if they take what, what I've been saying in a, in a, in a, in a, in a bad taste, then they probably they will start saying that I'm trying to sort of uh, uh, ridicule or try to uh, not to... Not to sort of say that this is something important. I'm not saying that it is not important. Of course, whatever happened in this country being observed by, by our country, but to say that the Malaysian image is tarnished because of one or two domestic issues, I think that is an exaggeration.